time on Dragon Ball Z. What? He can read the Poneglyphs? Whoa! Ohara is connected to Wano? Oh my god! Yo, the, the clan's got some connection to Vivi, the Void Century, all that. So that's how Roger read the Poneglyph in Skypea. Hello and welcome to Will the Scry. I am Kirk D. Camp. I'm gonna jump into episode 967. I'm excited to jump right in. I'm not gonna spend too much time here. You can go check out my last reactions where I'm literally losing my mind to the clash between Whitebeard and <laughs> Gold D. Roger. A lot of things stood out that I don't need to recap because of how epic it was, but there were some slight subtleties like, um, I don't know, Teach not ever sleeping, you know, tying into the whole Will of the D, everyone is special in some form if they have that name. We knew Blackbeard was special, um, he has the most powerful quote unquote fruit ever, but you know, there's there's something to these these characters before they, they acquire their powers, you know? And I think that's, that's pretty prevalent across anyone that has the Will of D. I think the other thing that stood out to me was Shanks and his scar. I was rewatching one of the clips back in the day, way back in the day before even um, the War of the Best, and he's telling Whitebeard that the, the scar that hurts the most was his eye scar, which he got from Blackbeard. And I kept thinking to myself, like, when could he have given him that scar if Shanks is the all powerful character we know him to be today, and Blackbeard didn't acquire his dark dark fruit until way later in the story until he killed Thatch and, and stole it from Whitebeard and it made me think that Shanks I believe had those three that that triple scar on his eye back in the very first episode when he gave up his arm to Luffy so maybe he got it and, and when he was a young kid and he over here would teach and maybe this is the episode we'll, we'll see it happen but with that being said I, I don't want to spend any more time speculating let's jump right in this is episode 967 and we are Will of the Scry. Yo, why is the opening just showing like all these clips of the upcoming episode? Why do they stay doing that? I hate that. It makes me not want to watch the openings. That's the other thing that I called in the last episode though, speaking of the one clip that showed there, is they're clearly taking the, the uprift to Skypea and uh, I said as soon as Odin joined the crew, I was like, that's how he read that poneglyph and, he, and Roger wrote, you know, Goldie Roger was here. And I'm assuming... That's what we're going to see in this episode here. Yo, they're playing Big Sake. Let's go. I wonder if this has any ties in with the Rumbar Pirates. Look at all these characters. I, I feel like Oda's putting more detail into the side characters here. This is like such a random time to just be diving into the history of Roger. In between Wano. Whatever. This is awesome. Uh-oh. Croak is giving him medicine. Dang. So he did all this in a year, huh? That's interesting that Roger went here at the... <laughs> Just like Luffy, the same exact. Do you remember that? Um, that's interesting that Roger does this towards the end of his, like, pirating career. And Luffy, this was, like, his, like, second or third adventure, you know? Side note, this is exactly where I am on the main channel. Um, Skyrim and I are just about to enter Jaya, so this is really cool timing. Go check that out in the, in the description below if you guys want to see our uh, ongoing reactions. It's his first time. I'm obviously reoccurring. <laughs> they didn't have wings on their ship, I noticed. <laughs> As if Buggy's seen all this stuff. <laughs> what? Why is he still old? I feel like he might, should be much younger. Now it's because Nami. Oh, the, shout out Nami for mastering that in like two days. Hmm, <laughs> the homie snake. Mm. <laughs> Bet. Oh, 
Oh, this was pointing to Shiro Hoshi. Roger was here. Goldie Roger was here. <laughs> this is going to mean so much more to me when Skyrim and I watch Robin decipher that when he gets through Skypea for the first time and I'm be like, wow, like, <laughs> I just saw this actually come to fruition. 800 episodes later. Hmm. Down they go. So, do the octopuses, like, just come back up on the, the knock-up stream? Like, how are they just so willing to throw their lives away? Go down to the deep sea. I'm probably overthinking it. Raftel. Mm. <laughs> oh, big moms. You called her Lin Lin, too. That's awesome. What? The, oh, right, because this is where... But is this not the Oral Jackson? Or did he equip the Oral Jackson with the, the great weapon? Wow, so they went to Water 7 right after Skypea. That's crazy. Just like Luffy. We're going to see Tom in his adolescence. Oh, I miss Water 7. Such a good arc. Oh, my God. Frankie wasn't born yet, right? Yeah, because Tom's got to be a youngin. The only person that was probably alive on the crew around the same time as Roger was Brooke. <laughs> also, Shanks was here too. Oh, there's Iceberg! What? Where's Frankie? He's not born yet? Kokoro. A good looking? She's not good looking. Oh my god. Why didn't Frankie ever mention this? This is so crazy! Oh my god. Oh. I don't remember that about Frankie. Actually, I do remember his crew, his his friends, the Frankie family, saying that he came from a pirate of families. God, a family of pirates. That's interesting. He might have a Sanji backstory to him, too. Where it turns out he's actually from, like, a very important lineage. He kind of looks like that Whitey Bay. Oh, Tequila Bridge, where Robin got sent. Mm -hmm. That was random. I may, ha may have to go back and see if Robin noticed anything about them being in Tequila Wolf. Kind of doubt it. Oh, shizzles. Mm-hmm. Wait, didn't didn't the uh the giant? Yeah, yeah, the, the the Sea Kings, the Great Sea Kings, were like they noticed Luffy sim had a similar aura to to Roger. Yo, yo, let's go. It's all coming together. Yep, they're talking to him. Our ruler will be born. Shir Hoshi. Shir Hoshi. Odin can hear it too. Let's go. This is crazy. They're talking about Shir Hoshi. The Sea Kings. They're anticipating Shirahoshi. Yep. Oh, 
Poseidon, Chirohoshi. Mm -hmm. Every few centuries, huh? Hmm. True. But it's gonna be. It just occurred to me that maybe Vivi is the ancient weapon of Alabasta. And it's the princesses. So if Shirahoshi is this. And Shirahoshi and Vivi were on the posters. Oh man, if I'm a dummy and you guys have all theorized this before, I'm sorry. But that is all just coming to me. Void Century. <laughs> Harry daughter. <laughs> so many theories, so many things revealed. I don't even know how to internalize all of it, but I think I hit on a fair amount of points throughout it all. It's definitely some things to ponder on further, and I, I'm assuming the next episode is going to continue down the the story of Roger as he finds all the poneglyphs. But I also don't think they're going to go too far, because we also need to find the poneglyphs on our own in, in the main story. You don't really want that revealed ahead of time, but who knows? Maybe it, it'll all play a role, but... With that being said, I mean, that's it. That's all. Thank you for tuning in. That was episode 967. I am Kirk DeCam, and this is Will of the Scry.